Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, today I have Frankie beside me, which is always exciting whenever I get to have her on set with me. And today, Frankie, we're going to be making something that is right up your alley. Yes. It is a baseball project. Ooh. And I know you play softball, right? Or baseball. Yes. Do you play softball. baseball? Softball. softball. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this really cute little softball keychain. And we're going to be making it out of a washer. Perfect. Just like your little necklace that you got on there. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using these fender washers. They're 3 sixteenths, and that, Frankie, is the size of the hole, by one and a quarter. And so okay. the outside edge is one and a quarter inches. And then that little inside hole is three and a sixteenth. We're going to be using white nail polish, if you can believe it. Wow. You got nail polish at home? Oh, yeah. Do you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. you do. <laughs> So if we wanted to make a frozen baseball, we could do that. Yes. <laughs> We're going to need a work surface. And in this case, Frankie, because we've got um, the nail polish, we can use either a paper plate or we can use one of these little plastic lids. Okay. Um, we're also going to need a keychain. This is just one of those keychain rings. Yeah. And in this case, what we're going to be using is instead, last time when we made our necklaces, we uh -huh. just used a string. Yeah. What we're going to actually be using for this is a cord, and this is one millimeter satin cord. So it's one millimeter satin cord. And you can get this at the crafting stores. It's really nice and soft, and it's going to match our um, baseballs, because our baseball is going to be white. We're going to be using a black Sharpie pen and a red Sharpie pen. Okay. And those are super important because you need the laces yes. and the rimming, you know, the mm -hmm. little ribbies. Yeah. And we're going to be using some beads and some little spelling letter beads. Now, the letter beads that we have, we're going to be spelling out go S F. S -F. Woo! It's not baseball season, but no. when they come back, yeah. <laughs> we want the Giants to win because yeah. we're San Francisco girls. What? And we have to have a pair of scissors, right? Yes. Always got to have those. Now, we are going to be using the glue gun for just one tiny little bit, and that's okay. hiding over there next to you. So the first thing I'm going to do, Frankie, is give you one of these washers and give you this plate here. And you're just going to take the nail polish and shake it up, you know, okay. just like Taylor Swift. We shake it up, shake it up. I thought it was shake it off. <gasps> it is. Shake it off, shake it up. <laughs> Okay, and you're going to open that up, and Frankie, all you're going to do is paint, paint. that. Okay. Yep, go for it. So the great thing about nail polish is it's an enamel base, and so it will just go on, and it will, depending on the nail polish that you have, you'll need one or two coats. And what I like to do is do one coat, let it dry for about 10 minutes, then give it a second coat, and then after you've, you know, com you've confirmed that that's the, the opacity that you want, opacity meaning as dark as you want it to be, so you can't see any silver through that. So as long as that's good, then you can flip it over, and then you can do the opposite side. Now, Frankie, you're doing a great job there. Now, we, of course, are not going to stand here and chat baseball for 10 minutes, so we're <laughs> going to actually jump ahead. But as you can see, Frankie's done a great job here. She would let this dry for about 10 minutes, just making sure that it's nice and dry. Now, one thing that I did learn about when I was working on these, if you put nail polish on top of nail polish, it actually will remove itself, So, which is an interesting thing. It's like nail polish remover. When you put too much <coughs> nail polish on top, if you were to rub it off before it dries, it actually will take the nail polish off underneath it. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to put a blob of nail polish on and then take a, a rag and wipe it because you've, you've got uh, the nail polish will just pull right off. So get it on there, let it dry really good, and when you're all done, it's going to look like this. So okay. this has two coats on either side. Mm -hmm. So ready to make our baseball? Let's do it. I printed out a picture. Now, I know you know <laughs> baseballs very well, but when I printed it out, this is so it could remind me which direction the little oh, laces go, yeah. you know? Because I wasn't, you know, I was not doing very well when I was trying mm -hmm. to do it from my memory. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to add our string, okay? okay? And so we're just going to take this and push it through. Now, because we're going to add beads to this, we're not going to tie this end okay. off. So we're just going to take the, take that and loop it through. So if you open that up, right? Can you pull that through? Excellent. So that's just there and ready to go. Now, to make the laces. What I realized was the best thing to do was, because it's like two kind of circles that come mm -hmm. in on the side, right? So I'm going to use another washer and just oh. line it up on the side like that, right? 
-hmm. and draw on that side and draw on that side with the, with the black pen. And here, let's do this. You do it. This is yours, but I'm going to get that one over there for you so that you don't have to draw on the white one that's already done. There you go. You got one, and then you do it on the opposite side. Now, you could also, if you wanted to do a basketball or a soccer ball or any other kind of ball, just print out the picture so you know what you're looking for. And there you go. And go to town. So you could do an orange one for basketball. You could do any color for soccer balls because soccer balls come in all different colors, but you could also do white. And there you go. And now she's going to put her laces in. And you could do this on both sides. Or if you're like a soccer fan and a baseball fan, you could put soccer on one side baseball on the other. It's really up to you because it's yours. Very nicely done. Now, the reason we're using such a thin cording is because we want it to go over these beads. Oh. So that's why we're going to use this thin cording. So what we wanted to say is go SF, right? Yeah. So first we'll put on a ball bead. So go ahead. You were choosing one there. That's good. And you want to make sure you put it over both of the strings. Perfect. Now, we have to do it backwards because we wanted to say go SF going down, uh -huh. right? So really what we're going to do is put F, F heart, F S, heart, F O, G. G. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so you go ahead and do that. That's awesome. They're both strings, right? Yep. So one of the things that I learned while I was working on these is that I, I actually learned that the cheaper nail polishes... Um, take more coats and the, the more expensive, and I don't mean by super expensive, I mean like the dollar brand versus maybe like the two dollar brand. The two dollar brand had a tendency to cover better and it also dried quicker and it had a, a more, um, just a, a shinier feel to it. Now the other thing too that you can do is once you've created your artwork on, on your washer, if you want to, you can always come back with a clear coat of clear nail polish and then that seals everything in. We're not going to do that because we don't really need to, but if you want to give it an extra longevity, you can do that. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now would you like to put another um, sure. bead? You can. So now's the point when we're going to add our key ring up here. Great. And for the key ring, all we're going to do is just going to put it through and tie it off. Okay. Which is easy enough, right? Yeah. Okay, you have nice little fingers, so I'm going to actually have you tie this off by reaching through and grabbing these two. All right, we're going to just put it right through that hole. There you go. And just pull that nice and tight. Excellent. Good. Now, this is where I was saying that we want to add just a little bit of hot glue. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to tie one more little knot here, just as a regular knot. Okay. And then we're going to add a little drop of hot glue. Do you want to do that? Sure. Now, you know with hot glue, we always have to be careful just because it is hot. But we just want to put a little dot right there. That's it. Oh, nicely done. No, that's okay. It's all good. And then we're going to let that dry really good. And then once it's all dry, Frankie, we're just going to come back and snip it. Okay. Right there. And on the other side right there. There you go. Now, it might be a little warm yet still, so when you pick it up. And that's it. And there you got your own personalized sports keychain. For more sporty ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. <laughs> you going to use that for your keys? Oh, yeah. You've got a lot of keys, right? Uh, car key, uh, locker key, I don't house know key. I, I have a car. You don't have a car key? I don't have a car. 